Welcome back to another one of my videos on the Spirit Flybar, this controller. In this specific video, I will cover how to use banks to switch between different rescue modes. Well, rescue slash stabilization, if you like. You might have a specific reason whether you just want to try them out while you're flying, um, you know, so you can now switch between three different ones to see how they behave. Or you want to fly in stabilization mode or coaxial mode, but still have the ability to have rescue available on a switch. And I'll show you how to achieve all of this very easily. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that our switches are properly set up. And, and uh, by the way, to make any changes on your channels, you have to be in bank zero. You'll see in the bottom right here, you might have just heard me switch my radio to bank zero. On channels, well, you have to have a channel set up to be able to switch between banks. On my radio, I have set up a three position switch to go from bank zero bank to bank one bank to bank two. And you can see that reflect on your very easily on the diagnostic. You also have to set up a stabilization function. And the way to do that is you're going to pick it from the drop down list here and then assign it to a channel that you have set up on your radio and on my radio it's a temporary switch one of those little flip switches and if i stabilization on if i toggle that switch you'll hear that come on and so my uh, stabby function is enabled now the fun part here actually starts then if we go out of this and we go to the stabby tab when in bank zero as you can see in the bottom i have selected stabilization normal now you can choose whatever you want here it could be that you want coaxial right fine um, and then by switching my bank switch that we just set up bank you'll see that I have now moved into bank one note that I have auto save on and so anything any changes that I make here will be automatically saved I like using that but be careful because <laughs> if you just make a few changes to check something forget to change it back it would be saved so you have to be very careful either way. Either you have to make sure you save it or uh, make sure you change it back to whatever you had. Now you can see when I went to bank one, it changed to rescue, uh, rescue normal. And if I go to bank two. bank two, I go to rescue acro. So you can see different, three different modes of rescue that is enabled in my stabby uh, tab, depending on the bank that I have. So this is great. Now, it, obviously, if you're flying and you make a mistake and you really wanted to have rescue, but you're in a stabilization bank, well, <laughs> it'd be really difficult to switch over first the bank and then hit a rescue switch, right? So I'm going to show you in the next section how to, on your radio, whether it's an um, OpenTX or a Jetty radio, that you can set up the ability to have rescue and rescue available whether you are in bank zero or not and so that that'll be uh, something you can do so basically it'll it'll do combination of the bank and the rescue switch to uh, able to give you that ability to do rescue okay so to enable the ability to switch between banks while operating your rescue switch um, we, on OpenTX, it's very easy again. Basically, go into setup here, and yeah, that's the difficulty is me. We're gonna go back into special functions in your menu, setup menu, and we will just do another override. So in this case, we'll go to there, we'll go special function 11. If I operate my rescue switch, on. as you can hear, that's my rescue switch. I want to override channel in my case here seven is my banks channel in other words that's the channel i use to switch between banks is connected to my sd switch if you like so we can say override channel seven and oops okay enable it and i want this value to be whatever you need it to be so on, on an open tx um, bank zero would be negative 100 bank one would be zero, which is what I have here in this case, and bank two would be plus 100. So depending on the mode that you want to have when you operate your switch and override it, 
you would change this. Now, typically, um, you probably want to put rescue on, say, 100. Uh, Bank 2. So now I have enabled when I operate stabilization SF, on. my st stabilization switch. I will also switch the flybar controller's control automatically into bank two. And this will enable rescue mode instead of whatever you have selected in bank zero. Okay, you've seen how easy it is to do on OpenTX. You just need a few more steps on, um, on the jetty to do it. And by the way, if you have a better way to do this, please comment, let me know. I would love to get your feedback on this. First though, let's see how this works. So if I go and look at my output, if I hit rescue, rescue. you'll see that channel eight on here, because this is what I use on the jetty radio, um, is my rescue channel. And if I move switch SD, bank two, bank one, bank zero, you can see that channel seven is going out. So typically, negative 100 for bank zero, etc. So how do I override that channel seven to give me a plus 100 when I pull the switch? Cause I'll put my rescue mode on, on bank two there, or bank one, sorry, my apologies. Well, the way that I figure you can do this is to go into advanced properties, logical switches, and you'll see I actually already created one here. So um, if I enable it now, okay, I had a disable to show you that bank there. You will see that I am looking at control one. Rescue. Which is my rescue switch, SC, right? And note that I changed it to be linear. And in here, you can have it anything you want it to be linear because I want negative 100, zero, 100 to to be displayed or to be output from this logical switch. And then control two, it should be no surprise, is my bank. So bank show. one, bank two, bank, bank zero. So I've set that up and again, same thing, I set it up to be linear. So now if you look at the output in the bottom here, you'll see that currently it says 100 and then negative 100 for rescue. Uh, the point here is you use a logical switch to and those two, and, and that's important. The condition here is and. So if this one and this one gives me this value, then give me that. I'll uh, show you why I, I mean that. Okay, so we're gonna go out of this. Now we have the logical switch set up. We need to go and tell the system to use that. So we go to function assignments under models, go and find our bank. And we're now going to change the control input. So we'll clear that. We're not going to use the switch anymore. We'll clear that value. Go plus logical switches, logical one. Okay. Uh, and now that I've got that, we can now look at our output. And you see, I'm still the same thing here. If I use my bank, bank one, switch. Thank you. Seven does exactly the same it did before. The big difference now is if I pull my rescue switch, rescue, you'll see that seven now jumps to 100. And this means that the spirit fly bar list will now output a rescue function as opposed to whatever you programmed into bank zero. Anyway, so there that is. Comment, let me know.